In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a 2D drafting view to create some details in our project. I'm going to come up to my view tab and I hit drafting view. And then I'm just going to call this handrail section. I'm going to click OK. And what this does is this brings up a 2D view that is just strictly a drafting view. And I am just going to start um, drawing this detail. So the first thing I'm going to do is come to the annotate tab and I'm just going to draw a basic wall here. So I'm just going to get a gray filled region. It's going to mimic what I've been doing for my stud wall. So I'm just going to make this gray. And then I'm just going to draw this as a three and a half inch stud. And then I'm going to get my chipboard components in here. So I'm just going to come into my insert load our desk family. Again, detail items is what has our detail components. So I'm just gonna back out and get to division nine, which is where my chip board component is gonna be. I'm just gonna find the one that says um, gypsum wallboard section. And then now come to detail component. Here's my gypsum board. I'm just gonna pick the half inch. I'm just going to draw this down both sides like this. And then I'm going to get a two by four in there for some blocking. And then I'll just align that. And then the next thing I need to do is to draw some lines to represent my handrail. So I'm just going to come here to a detail line. I'm going to do a wide line since I'm cutting through my handrail. And I'm just going to draw a circle. It's an inch and a half. And then I'm going to add some dimensions. So I want my handrail to be an inch and a half away from the wall. So I'll just change that to inch and a half. I'm just going to pull these dimensions out to give it a little breathing room. And then the next thing I got to do is just draw my handrail support. And I'm just going to offset that just by and then I'm just going to draw the base plate here. And then just draw some lines here to represent the attachment into the wall. I'm going to turn my thin lines off just to check to make sure everything looks okay. And with these components, we can actually layer these just like you can in, in PowerPoint where you can bring stuff to the front and send stuff to the back. So if I were to bring this to the front, I now can't see those two lines that I've drawn, but I don't want that. So I'm just gonna send this back 
again. And one more time. Until I get everything in the right order. So now I'm just going to add some text notes and I want to make sure that I have my 330 seconds picked and then I'll just click where I want my arrow to be, click to create my shoulder, and then just start adding my annotations. And I'll just do this for everything on here. You'll see that Revit helped me line these up as I place these. And then I can move these around to kind of help create some legibility. But once I do that, the next thing I need to do is I just need to get this added to a sheet. So I'm just going to create a detail sheet. And I actually think I already have one created. So I'm going to come here to my A501, change this to my title block. And then these drafting views by default are under the coordination of the project browser. So if I click here, you'll see that here's some details that I've created. And if I wanted to move these up to the architecture, all I got to do is um, come up here to the discipline and change it from coordination to architectural. And that will move it into my architecture folder with the rest of my views. And then I'm just going to drag this onto the sheet. And then I also have another detail here that I've created that I'm going to drag over here. Now the next thing is, now that these are on my sheet, I need to actually reference these in my drawing set. So I'm going to come back to my section. And so I'm going to put the handrail detail right here. So I'm going to come here to section. And then over here, I'm going to switch this from building section to detail. And before I draw this, though, up here, there's an option to reference other views. I'm going to check this. And then when I pick this dropdown, I can see the other drafting views I've created. So I'm going to pick my one that's my handrail section. And I'm just going to draw like this. I don't really like the simil similar call out because it's not similar. This is the actual detail that I'm referencing. So I'm going to just hit edit type right here. Delete those three letters right there and click OK. And then that one is good. And then the other detail that I had was my tile pattern. And I'm just going to use this enlarged call out. Same thing. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit reference other view. And then I'm going to pick my kitchen tile detail and just draw box like that and then move this up and I've now created detail callouts for my 2D drafting views.